with CBS 42 Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Puckett. Alex, I know we're heading into hurricane season and we have a storm to look at, don't we? We do, but this is going to be in the other basin, the Eastern Pacific Basin. This is Mexico here. This is Tropical Storm Agatha. This is moving north, northwest, pretty slow, five miles an hour. Uh, but here's the thing we're going to talk about this because this is going to make landfall in Mexico. It's going to come across the peninsula here. And whatever's left of it, and it won't be much, but whatever's left will make its way into the Gulf of Mexico. So here's what Agatha looks like right now. Big, tall thunderstorms near the center. Those purples there, really cold cloud tops indicating really tall thunderstorms near the center of this. This is going to drift eventually. But... Could end up redeveloping into something tropical. If you've got plans along the Gulf Coast, no need to cancel those. Just something to keep an eye on as we head through the next several days. The weather around here, not tropical at all. Fantastic. Dew points in the 50s and 60s, temperatures in the 70s and 80s today. Lots of sunshine across the northern two thirds of the state of Alabama. Temperatures around here, mostly in the 80s at this point. We are dry, a few clouds dotting the sky, but even those starting to erode away a bit as we get a little bit later on in the day. The sky mostly clear as we head through tonight. Getting warmer. A few clouds in the afternoon. We stay dry tomorrow. A few blips of grain in the future cast Monday. I'm not buying our rain chance there, though. I think we stay dry through Memorial Day. Temperatures dipping down into the 50s and low 60s tonight. Another comfortable and cool evening in store for us. We round out the weekend with temperatures in the upper 80s tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, a bit of a breeze out of the southeast as we head through the afternoon. And for your Memorial Day, the weather looking absolutely fantastic, but a little bit warmer. Some spots making it to 90. We'll go with 89 in Birmingham, but I do think a few spots, a few backyards will hit 90 degrees. If you don't get there by Monday or Tuesday, I think by Wednesday and Thursday, you definitely end up getting there. And we do reintroduce the rain chance once we get into Wednesday. I'm not going to rule out an isolated downpour. Better rain chances Thursday, and then a few isolated storms Friday and Saturday. That Thursday rain chance being driven by a cold front. It's not going to be dramatic, but note the temperature difference from Thursday into Friday. So that front gives us a few more scattered storms. And then behind that, we go from the 90s back into the upper 80s as we round out next week. Addie.